I think the myth is that surgery is the only answer. Uh, you, and I, uh, I had an experience with, uh, uh, and again, I don't, uh, when I say this, a well-meaning surgeon, but uh, uh, very, uh, very uh, knowledgeable man, uh, man, but didn't provide, uh, it was almost like it was, this, this, and your, 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 that's it. And there wasn't a option. So I think that's a myth. There is, a, there is other options, and uh, and you should, uh, as I say, go back to it. Just discuss those options. You're going to be radioactive. Uh, you know, it, um, I would say talk to the oncologist, uh, talk to the radiologist. Uh, they, uh, they, uh, the myth is that uh, you uh, you will have some uh, radioactivity, but uh, the reality is that it diminishes over time and it comes to zero as uh, as it as it uh, hopefully uh, reduces the tumor size. There are no side effects. Uh, the myth. I also watched some brachytherapy sites that had a myth about uh, you know the side effects are there are side effects and people uh, should be aware of that there isn't uh, sort of the uh, silver bullet that's gonna you're gonna do something and it's going to be all better uh, you might or somebody might experience that but the reality is that there are going to be be possible side effects as any other operation or procedure. I read a couple articles that say the organs are damaged uh, and that is uh, a myth that yeah there might be some damage to uh, an organ but uh, depending on the amount of uh, seed implant and, uh, and the location of the tumor but uh, there's to automatically assume that uh, that there's going to be uh, surrounding organ damage. I think is is a myth. I think the the person that's going to conduct the procedure first of all would probably lead you in a direction if there is going to be. And they, they may or can't be 100 percent accurate, but there is uh, that uh, potential. So those were the myths that uh, uh, I would be concerned with. I think one of the big things is because it's an ongoing process. After the brachytherapy procedure, there there's ongoing issues, and uh, uh, so I think the family it's just not over. It's you know it's a, it's just not like okay he goes in and uh, you know we live in a society it's a half a thirty minutes it's all solved it's over and we're moving on. Well, it's not that quite that easy for many men, and uh, many men have to suffer a little longer, and some uh, sail right through. So it's, uh, and in my case, uh, sometimes you, uh, if you're aware of uh, some of the things, if I see something or I feel something, uh, oh, automatically uh, my mind goes to cancer, and uh, uh, so, and sometimes that can get you down, and. Uh, uh, you know, again, it goes back to communication. Uh, if you if you see something in in, uh, in your urine, or you see something, uh, you have to go more often to the washroom. Uh, people can pick up on that, and uh, and that's what the family is is aware of, and and sometimes they can open up a conversation. I noticed uh, I noticed you have been going to the washroom more often, or I notice uh, this, uh, you know, uh, about your uh, about you, and uh, I think. The, uh, the family should be aware it isn't over it's it's an ongoing and a, a, and it's a, it's not uh, doom and gloom it's actually just being aware that they're tra you're transitioning through a new stage and uh, the stage is you're learning how to live with this new stage that you're going through and uh, I think that's where again communications comes in and some people are skillful and some aren't and that's just the way we live